In principle three, we talk about discipline and surrender and how these two go hand in hand. As a follower of Christ, it's all about discipline and surrender. And it seems a little weird. It seems like discipline and surrender are complete opposites. But check it out. I think these things go hand in hand. They really go together. In Colossians 3.23, Paul says, Whatever you do, do it with all your heart as unto the Lord rather than, rather than unto men. So he's saying whatever it is you're getting into, whatever you're about, if it's your sport, your business, your family, do it with your whole heart as unto God. So there's that discipline part. Man, get after it and go hard. And so there's Colossians 3.23. Right, re rewind a couple chapters back to Colossians 1.29. Paul again is talking. He says, I labor with all of his strength. Whose strength? God's strength. So I labor with all of God's strength, which so powerfully works in me. So how does God's strength work in us? It's through his Holy Spirit. So Paul labors, but it's with the Holy Spirit's strength, with God's strength, which is working through him. So now you see this discipline. I labor, but surrendering to the Holy Spirit's power. I labor with all of his power, which works in me. So now these are going hand in hand, discipline and surrender. And then to add this last piece to the puzzle, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Uh, God is speaking to Paul now, and he says, My power, God's power, is perfected in our weakness. God says, My power is perfected in your weakness. So when we're weak, we're finally at the end of who we are. We're at the end of our strength. We're finally at that surrender spot saying, God, I need your strength. I need your power in my life today. So there's that surrender part. Let the Holy Spirit be our strength and our source for life. So that's the challenge today. In a fresh way, would you surrender and let the Holy Spirit be your fuel for living life, for playing sport, for whatever it is you're doing today?